Well, the May flood left plenty of reminders down here on the floor of Cameron Middle School. The place was the second hardest hit by the May flood, and that's why employees here are happy to have a little help fixing it up. We planted the bleachers back to blue and gold. They arrived early. It just seems so fun to me. And they're leaving this school. It's been fun. In better shape. It's work that wouldn't get done if you didn't have volunteers to do it. Um, obviously, the trees and the bushes have been growing out of control. Volunteers like Ashley Carter are here for the annual Hands-On Nashville Day. And the timing couldn't be better. It's wonderful they're doing it. Cameron Middle School employees have been too busy repairing May flood damage to focus on appearances. We had to worry about getting our school ready for our students. Um, and while having a, a beautiful surrounding um, for the building is important, and it is, uh, our most, um, most intense focus had to be on the building. Organizers actually believe the flood is encouraging more people to volunteer this year, cleaning schools. And at first we were just like, wow, this is a lot to, you know, put in boxes. And organizing 15 pallets of donated supplies. This is a double blessing for us because not only did Rubbermaid donate all these material supplies for our schools, but uh, we also have hands on Nashville here sort, sorting it and separating it for us today. Many of those supplies are headed to formerly flooded schools like Cameron, where a few extra hands make a big difference. We're doing this to give back to the community. Now around 1,600 people are donating their time for jobs like this for Hands On Nashville. It's estimated all that work is bringing in more than $135,000 in economic impact. Sky Arm, Fox 17 News.